So one of the things that I learned about 2016 was mastering emotions and feelings. And I wanna share with you two tips, just really simple tips. Number one is, you know, how can you get better at mastering your emotions and feelings? And number two is thinking about the feeling that you wanna set as a theme coming into 2017. Now let's get really realistic about feelings right now. You think about the goals that you may have written down this year already. I don't know if you've taken the time yet or not, it's still early in the year, but you know, write down what the goals that you wanna have. It could be the holiday, the sort of car you wanna drive. And you think about all of that, what is it? It's the experience and the feeling that's the goal. That's the real goal. It's not the materialistic thing. It's the feeling that you get jumping on a plane and ending up on a beach where it's got coconuts and you know golden sands and blue turquoise water. That's, that's the feeling you're looking for. So question I want you to think about is this year is what are you looking for? You see, talking to a few clients this year, a lot of them, their feelings were a little bit of feelings of guilt or a feeling of uncertainty and they've lost a little bit of out of touch. And you wanna wake up each morning and you know, feeling that you feel complete and you feel happy and you feel joyous. So as you write down your goals, what are the feelings that you wanna experience from these goals that you write down? From a car to a holiday, to the type of clients that you wanna work with, or the market share that you wanna gain? Because when you get that market share and you win that space, you think of that feeling you have, it's like the self-satisfaction that you receive from that feeling. And that's the goal at the end of the day. It's not the goal of the car or the, it's the feelings that you get from those things that you get. The other thing too that I want to share with you is, you know, thinking about like going into 2017, there's going to be some roller coaster, you know, and you agents know it and I know it that, you know, we have this in, in real estate. You have ups and downs. You have great month of sales and you have no sales. You have some listings and you get no listings. But how can you get better at mastering some of those feelings and emotions around when you do get the roller coaster? So number one, I think you need to understand that our emotions and our feelings when we, you know, we get them, they're there to serve us. And number one is acknowledge it. Number two that you need to think about is think about like, you know, something's got to change when you're not got that right feeling. Let me just give you an example. If I was an agent and, you know, and we talked a little bit in my last video about being in the genius zone. And genius zone is you tapping into your creativity and being your best and that could be like doing 30 conversations a day. But for about a week or two you haven't done those calls for example and you haven't tapped into your genius zone. There's a feeling you get, you have a feeling of guilt, a feeling of anger and when you get that feeling when you haven't done something for example and you said you're going to do, you've violated one of your standards and when you violate one of your standards that feeling is there to serve you and tell you something that something's got to change and it's asking you what are you going to do to change that so next time you're going through a feeling and it's not feeling right and it's a negative feeling I'm telling you right now going into 2017 honor it and do something about it rather than going through and letting it spiral and spiral because the more you start going to that level you start to feel I suppose unhappy and at the end of the day we're all searching for that level of happiness and self of self-satisfaction and self-completion, whatever it may be. So master your feelings and emotions going into 2017.